Welcome back to court two here at the World Championships in Copenhagen, Denmark, and we're on to our fourth match uh, of the morning. And it's the mixed doubles, Yuki Kaneko and Misaki Matsutomo from Japan taking on Dejan Ferdinandsha and Gloria Emanuel Wujaja from Indonesia. Now looking at the draw, as you can see, the winner of this match will play tabling in Piek in round two. And up at the top half of this part of the draw, Zheng Shiwei and Huang Yashong, the defending champions already with a bye into round two. Van der Lek will be their opponents against Lamfus and Lohau. Should be an interesting match. They're very close to each other in terms of rankings. The world number 22 pair taking on the world number 19 pair. Matsumoto and Kaneko making their way to court two. Facing from Indonesia, Ushan Kanemashaya, Gloria Emanuel Vijaya. Vijaya and Ferdinand Shah, of course, are regular competitors on the World Tour. It's going to be a tough match for them, but they are currently high ranked. Like all the players today, relishing this wonderful entrance into the arena, the lift and the stairs. So ready for the coin toss. Second mixed doubles match of the day so far after Yakura and Lai taking on Yang and Hu. And as you can see, it's 1 1 in terms of the head to heads. Last meeting earlier this year at the Indonesia Masters. Red. Oh, red. Then you're black. Who's red? This side. And who the server receive? You serve. Who will receive? You receive. Yes. Both pairs with you know, advantages and benefits. Let's not forget Musaki Matsu Tomo, gold medalist in women's doubles as well. In the Olympic Games in Rio. That's her partner Yuki Kaneko, 29 years old, born in Saitama. Has been as high as 12. That was back in December of 22. That highest ranking. For the finalists at the Canadian Open, Thai Open, the All England. Third place finish at the Indonesian Open as well. A solid year, but no titles. There's Misaki Matsutomo, 31 years old, Tokushima. Multi disciplines, women's doubles and mixed doubles. As always with the mixed doubles format, she will be expected to really dominate that net area. And our partner Kaneko will clean up behind now on the other side of the net. Dejan Ferdinandsha, 22 years old, born in Garrett, currently ranked 19th and has been as high as 14. And that was earlier this year in May. Also plays men's doubles. They were bronze medalists in the Sudirman Cup, the Asian Championships earlier this year. There's Gloria Emanuel the Jaja. And look at that height, 182 centimeters. That's the real advantage about Gloria. She's got amazing reflexes at the net, but she also has that height advantage. And she's been as high as six with Hafiz Faisal. But they are a decent pair. They had a good start to the year. 
They've tailed off in terms of performances, and they'd love a good run here. And they're quarter-finalists at the Indonesia Masters and third at the Malaysian Open, which of course play. opened the World Tour this year. And they really do need to pick that up a bit. Umpire Paul Bogobiek. Joined by a service judge, Christian Hedlund. And this should be a very interesting matchup. There's the speed and ability. Both pairs equally matched. Just three spots between them in terms of world ranking currently. Definitely could be a highlight. There's so many different structures that can happen in doubles, of course, men's and women's. Very much a rotational situation, but here a little bit more fixed in terms of position. And Dejan Ferdinand, especially, is always looking for those big backcourt attacks. And he's got a really good jump smash, gets up really high. And with Gloria having that height advantage of the net, they can be a very effective pair. And of course, we can say the same thing for Kaneko and Matsutomo. So about ready to get underway here. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Yuki Kaneko and Misaki Matsutomo, Japan. And on my left, Dejan Fidenancia and Gloria Emanuela Vijaya, Indonesia. Gloria Emanuela Vijaya to serve. Two, Yuki Kaneko. Love all. Play. Oh. Fast point. Kick off the Service match. Over. One love. Now the seedings, of course, of the World Championships based on world ranking. 16 seeds. <laughs> now the world number 19. So it could have all been very different. A couple of good results oh! earlier on in the year. Service over. And they could have received a bye themselves. One all. But as it is, the winner of this match will face the number nine seeds. Robin Tabling and Selena Piek from the Netherlands. So it's over. Two, one. Good work by service over with Jar Jar at the net. Two, all. Jumped in, intercepted that, changed the rhythm of that point. Oh! And again, so far Three, proving the difference two. between her and Matsutomo. Again, just in the right place. Four, two. Push that into that backcourt area there. Oh. And there's that height I was telling you about, 182 centimeters coming down. Five, Steep angle. Two. Kaneko and Matsutomo are going to have to really try and push it past her if they can. But it really is all about positioning as well and just not allowing any spaces. It's good from Ferdinand Chap. Oh. 
you almost saw that move. Service over. Off to the right. Everyone was watching Three, that, but that was good work five. from him on the left side. You could just almost see that drift in the wind. Wonderful for Ferdinand, and that really is his strong point. Service over. Six, three. If he finds anything in that hitting zone right there, he's confident enough. That wasn't his full smash either. That was almost a drive. Start from Ferdinand Schoen with Jaja. Ah! Service over. Four, seven. She's looking for the most delicate of touches, Gloria. Oh, oh that's wonderful. She's been in good form so far. Eight, four. to rattle the cage of Kaneko and Matsutomo for sure. Errors creeping in left and right. Service over. Five, nine. Good for the first big game interval. 10 5 up, Ten, five minutes five. played. That over for an answer. Six, ten. And I can tell you that one of those other matches in the top half of the mixed doubles draw, Anderlecht and Gila against Lamfus and Lohau actually playing out right now on court one. And it's the Germans that are ahead there. Oh! Keep you updated on that score. Eleven, comes six, through. Interval. As for the with Jaja take the expected 11 6 lead after a very good performance to kick off this match. Caught two twenty seconds. Caught two twenty seconds. Coach. Thank you. Now back on court. The second phase of game one, and it's confident, no nonsense. Gloria. So far from the Indonesians. 11 6. Play. Oh. 
Sheriff Silva. Good pressure from Kaneko. 7 11. Idea. Eight, eleven. From Matsutomo. Well, they switch positions, but an answer with Jaja. Fighting hard, but that's a wonderful angle found by Matsutomo Nine. right down the middle. 11. Just have a look at it here. It's a pretty good position taken up by the Indonesians, but just getting that oh. just off center line. Very smart play by Matsutomo. Oh. Oh. Out. So it's over. 12. Nine. Out. Nervous Ten service. Ten. Twelve. Returned by Merlin Ancho, and to be honest, that's the first Service time we've actually 13. seen him get a return high enough to do that. They haven't been feeding into his secret weapon, which is the big smash. We haven't seen any of them just yet, but that little hook smash at mid-court and worked out just fine. That's great from Wijaja. There you go. Merlin Ancho getting into it. Finally. Oh, wonderful from Koneko. Took a chance with that sweeping move from right to left. Difficult to execute. Important point to win. So it was a three-point lead. And after some good work from Japanese pair, down to one. Charge up. Denied by the tape. Service over. 13, 14. Wow, what an important kill that would have been if she could have made it. That would have re established that two point lead. Service over. Quick, quick well, it's always good to see a pair playing with a smile on their face. And that may have been from 15, 13. the way they won that point, but so far it's been a good enough attitude from Ferdinand Chen with Jaja. It really is no fault of their own either. 16, I said they had a great start 30. to the year, and it's not really that they dropped off the pace. It's just such an incredibly tough 
um, mixed doubles category with the likes of Sheng Shi Wei and Huang Ya Shong, Kim Won Ho, Jong Na Eun. I mean, there are so many of them. Kikashino, Watanabe, Christensen, Boy, <laughs> Feng and Huang. I mean, 13. there really are a lot of pairs fighting for these tour titles. That's a big smile 18, from Gloria 13. because that is an important point. Five points up and looking good for this first game. Oh. That's brilliant from Fernandinho. Jaja into the plate. Oh, wonderful oh! control from Gloria. And that is called dominating the net. On one side, that was great 30. control. Dash is over. Sets up a good enough shot, but knows where she needs to be for the winner. 19-13. A little bit late on that take. Can they go with good yeah, enough so shot well, to the backhand side? 14. Well, nine. You think, by the way, Ferdinand and Wijaja have been playing. This might just be last chance saloon for Kaneko and Matsutomo in this Quarter first game. Right the copies. Well, I have really been impressed by Gloria with Jaja so far in this first game. Really been... Thank you. Well, I wanted to say on the ball, but I guess the right term would be on the shuttle. Oh. But you get what I mean. She's been very aware, very alert, and has shown some great control at the net. It's good from oh. there again. Good from Ferdinand, the follow-up, brilliant from Wijaja. Twenty. Game point, 14. Not only did she play the right angle, but if you just look at where that landed on the outside of the left foot, that's almost impossible to retrieve. So, six game points, well-deserved, and they only needed one. 21-14, one 16 Dejan minutes. Kenichia. Gloria Emanuel Vijaya, 21, 14. There may only be three ranking points between them, but the gap much bigger right now. Saya Lu batasin dulu aja. Ya, enggak usah panik, jangan panik lu lawan. Dia panjang batasin, batasin, batasin gitu ya. Yes. panjang, panjang. Iya. Yes, gambar.
Court two, 20 seconds. Court two, 20 seconds. Second game. Love on. So back on court and looking to continue where they left off with Charcha and Ferdinand. Oh, I'm guessing that's some flash photography. Just a reminder, of course, to everyone turning up. That's not allowed. Shall we? One moment. Second game. Love on. Play. So good, good start. start from them you know it really is quite oh, amazing if you no. think about it Ferdinand and Jaja only really got together as a pair in 2022 it's been quite the rise for them uh, ranked outside the top 100 then up to 19 now start to the second game. Service over. 1-5. Chance now for Kaneko and Matsutomo to get back into this after a good run of points. Back, but still a lot of work to do. That's great movement from Kaneko and Matsutomo. Oh, Nancho manages to get one of those big smashes out, another one possibly coming. It's all about the backcourt attack, and he leaves that well. 
couldn't convert seven. that Over. with Jar Jar. Four, seven. Read by Ferdinand Schir. Service over. They really have come out all guns firing in this second game. Eight, four. Make their coach very happy. Their coach, of course, we saw a bit earlier. Very famed Indonesian. There she is, Vita Marissa. Very famed doubles and mixed doubles. Player for Indonesia, but of course, the depth of Indonesian badminton, there are so many. Great players that can lead the way. But she has proved very, very interesting in terms of leading this relatively new pair of Gujarja and Ferdinandsha. That's an interesting way to try and return that shuttle from Matsutomo. Nine, four. Strangely enough, this week there was actually a, a video out on the social media of some of the players in warm-up playing hacky sack with a with a shuttlecock. You can go and see that on the BWF social media pages. That's a lot of fun. They're actually very, very good. And maybe that's where Master Tomo got the sudden idea to try and play that shuttle. She's going to need a lot more than that now, I can tell you. 10-4 down. That didn't work out for her. Oh, there's that height in play four. again. Easy it's kill. And the Indonesian pair have made it to the second mid-game interval with, well, I have to say, even easier than the first. Big shots from Ferdinand Schirp, And then the huge kill from Wichajo at the net. Tapi lu, lu kayak tadi dicop dengan net tengah, lu nya tenang. Jangan dia jangan ikut cepat, lu jadi ke bawah cepat ikut ikutan lu tabrak semua. Hah? So back on court for the all-important second phase of game two. And this really is backs against the wall for these two here. 11, four. They need to come up with something, and they need to come up with something right now. Service over. Oh, they have to look at it Five, one point at a time. It's still not super critical in this second game yet. But you get the feeling that if Ferdinand and Wijaja can make it up to 15 or 16, still maintain. Stuff. There's a great kill from Wijaja again. Service over. Not that she's tall enough. She actually managed to jump there as well. Get even more of an angle down. Near impossible to retrieve. She's been in great form this match. There's another kill. They're just firing, as I said, on all cylinders. 13, five. It just happens sometimes when you have pairs that they just get into this groove. And they can just fire off points. Good defense from Ferdinand Schirr. Delicate the net. Oh, oh. A huge shot from Ferdinand Schirp. Just bounces off 
Matthew Tomo is back. It's good combinations from them. Oh, still absolutely nothing for Kaneko and Matsutomo Tomo to get onto. Left well, yes, no. Terms over. Not that time. Six, 14. Obscured. Yes, it was. 15, six. What a shot again from Wijaja, this time to backcourt. Let's have a look at it. Reflex that was on the line. Really impressive stuff from Gloria Emmanuel. Wijaja. Wonderful again. Deep serve. Catches Kaneko off guard. Follows up with the kill. Six. I targeted Matsutomo, so it's a 10 point lead. This is what I was talking about before. Absolutely critical. They may have got that point. Seven, so far. Seven. 16. But it's not just about winning. The odd point, or one point here, and it's about the frequency of it. It's about creating that engine. And then the point runs in. They need one. If they can, well, that's a two-point run they're on now. They're going to need a seven-point run very smartly. Ferdinand changes the shuttle. 16. Gets that little bit of delay in. They need a seven point, maybe an eight point run right now. Straight down the middle from Rajaja, proving and it's not just the front court that she's effective at. 78. Great back court play. What an attack. Stamps her feet in frustration. Nine, seventeen. Well, you know when you're eight points up. <laughs> Left well. Nope, that's in. Well, that's twice now that Ferdinand has misread that. That's really giving a lifeline to the Japanese pair. Got to get those reads right at the back. Again, switched roles. Jarja at the back. What a rally. Oh. Oh. Nothing she could do about that, Matsutomo. She had to take that shot and she had to leave it that high. Service over. What a rally, though. Credit to Wijaja for again moving over, being in the right place and firing it just between the legs of Kaneko. 33 shot rally. I think that might last out this match because I think, honestly speaking, unless Kaneko and Matsutomo really find something extra special, I think this match is going to be over in the next three or four points. Fernandes and Wijaja looking irresistible form right now. Now, whether they have enough to oh. oust some of those big names I was talking about before, Ten. we'll have to wait and see later on in the week. But right now, Eight. they're looking good enough oh. here. Oh. Oh. 
Absolutely nothing Ten. working from Matsutomo and Koneko. Well, that's something, Japanese pair. 11, 19. Go! Well, good idea. That's given them nine match points. Over 20, match point 11. And in all honesty, and with all respect to the Japanese pair, I don't think they're going to need nine. One saved, a mistake from Ferdinand. It's good to see Kaneko and Matsutomo fighting right till the last. Piece of power from Dejan Ferdinand and he closes it out. So 35 minutes, straight games. 21 14, 21 12. Looking at that last point, this was all about power from Ferdinand. Sends it to the backhand side. One by Dejan Ferdinand and Gloria Emanuele. And Kaneko. 21 14. 21, 12. In his defense, there was confirmation of it. 35 minutes, and so they move on to face Tabling and Piek in the second round. Coming up next, it is the women's doubles. The Ukrainian pair of Stolyarenko and Jaka taking on Icha Sin and Teng Chun Sun, so don't go anywhere. 